Good afternoon. What follows is a little disclaimer slash miniature manifesto, which we hope <clears throat> will shed some light on what will be going through our mind as we work with singers today. We are here to present our opinion. There'd be no point in bringing us in otherwise. However, our exposure to today's eight singers is limited to the three to five minutes it takes to sing your aria and the subsequent time which we work, uh, which is kind of unfair to all of us in a way in that it's so limited. We don't know you the way your coaches and teachers do. In the course of our time today, we may say something which may strike your ear as contradictory to what your professor may have said. This is not intentional, we hope it doesn't happen, but if it does happen, please side with all your teachers and coaches who know you better. We didn't come to lead any sort of revolt or cause any schism. On the other hand, we've sat in countless master classes where the teacher was bending over backwards to avoid a myriad of perceived landmines, and we just found that that approach to be a waste of time for everyone involved, including the teacher. So, we will say all of our opinions constructively, and you are free to reject and discard every single one of them after it's all over. A career in vocal performance is going to require you to roll with the punches, to absorb and put into practice what your teacher says, but then to have the flexibility to adopt an entirely different set of ideas when, say, a different conductor or stage director in the professional world presents you with those ideas. Um, the three common sense things you can, you can and must do in response to the billions of opinions you're going to inevitably encounter in this industry. Number one, try to open-mindedly reconcile as much seemingly contradictory info you get from one teacher to the next or one coach to the next, one stage director, dramatic coach to the next, conductor, etc. Number two, file away everything that works for you individually and personally the multiple ways of approaching the same material, and number three, discard what absolutely does not work. End of disclaimer. So. <laughs> so answer at your own risk. <laughs> Who's first? Answer at your own joy. <laughs> we're, we're all going to make mistakes today. We're all going to we're all going to biff some notes. I've, I've biffed trillions of notes, so there's no way you could possibly, you know, have. Have more cracks in your life today than I've had. Like, you know, and this is not an audition. Not an audition. It's a, a time to try new things. Yes. Awesome. And Mitchell, can we get a music stand for of like course. for stuff? After they uh, sing through, we kind of expect a performance to begin with. You know, just just one time through, and then after that, your memory is it's not a memory have, test. And they all have extra copies too. Oh, okay. we're, we're good. We got them digital. until our battery runs out. We've got. Many of them have two copies. So. Cool. Yeah, and then, so the singers, if you wouldn't mind, when you do come up, make sure that they have a copy. Oh, no, we've got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, yeah. perfect. And then um, introduce who you are, your piece, at least your piece, okay? Thank you so much. Victime primo. <laughs> Beppe. Victima, 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 now uh, first victima. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Hello, my name is Matthias Bar. I will be singing for you guys on Colombina, written by Leon Cavallo. <laughs> Thank you. 
but uh, right. it, it was difficult to go. Turn the toilet back, yes. Do you have another hard copy? Yeah. Can you see the hard copy? And then, because I want you to work from yours.
You may take a breath there if you'd like. Okay. Okay. And there's, there's no punctuation there, mm -hmm. but I think phrasing wise, it's fine. Um, o Colombina, your faithful, loving Arlequin is here! <laughs> I mean, so have you seen Payachi? No. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So, no. Okay, so it's, have you seen any Comedia de la Arte? Have you seen like, any, any like, any sort of like sketch comedy, like a sketch comedy yeah. that's like period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is period sketch comedy. These are like low budget troops. They travel all around. This is this happens to happen in southern Italy. Um, but this is like, I mean, this is like some C or D level, like, you know, like I say, low budget, dingy group that comes around like once a year in every tiny little hamlet in southern Italy. Mm -hmm. Like this is like the highlight of their of their year mm -hmm. when this group comes through. So not only is it a verismo opera generally, which means everything is just like you're bearing it all on the chest. Mm -hmm. This is like, this is like stock comedy within grand tragedy. Mm -hmm. So it's over the more over the top you can do it. Yeah. So just think, take the. I'm gonna just you know the translation is, oh, call me, so call me. You're the you're the you're the guy who's cheating. I mean you're the guy who's having an affair with. Mm -hmm. Call me. I point to Sarah because yeah. she's been. Because <laughs> actually we we've actually that's, this is an opera we get to do together. We don't have many overlapping repertoire, but we do have this one. And so, so Nedda is now Colombina for the for the play within the play. So this is this that's what's going on right here. This is a very stilted play within a play. Yeah. And right before it, she hear, you know the like blink 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 mm -hmm. blink. You're tuning, tuning your in. little yeah. mandolin yeah. Yeah. or whatever your guitar, uh -huh. and and Col uh, Nedda as Colombina uh -huh. rushes to the window in like very clown for clowns, mm -hmm. like very clown for the town. And she rushes over to the window and she's like. Oh, and like it's all like over the top silly like like not bad acting because it's it's comedia it's not bad acting it's a yeah. style it's, it's camp yeah. it's, it's utter camp mm -hmm. so so your character like she's looking out the window and you're serenading her so like everything is like grand silly high camp okay. and I think that can help you not feel so. Um, so stuck because it's like you're playing a character that's playing a character, and mm -hmm. the character that your character is playing is like big and like ha, you know. <laughs> so yes, that's my little. <laughs> it's tough because there's still there's even another layer right before this, right before they put on the show within the show. He's just had to literally pull the big tenor Kanye off of. Uh, he, he, was, he was coming at her with a knife because he just found her with Silvio. Having this affair, yeah, so that. all this happens, and then suddenly we've got to like put on. That's what Kanye Zari is about. He's like, I put on my face paint, and I've got to put on a show, even though I just found my wife having an affair with me, which is something we're about to literally enact and make fun of on the stage. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of the guy who holds the whole troop together. There's a lot on Beppe's shoulders. So all that being said, <laughs> incorporate all that immediately. What we're saying is. It's, 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 more, it's more comical than it is. It's way more comical than it is. It's not serious at all. Okay. It's just nothing but comedy. So, O Colombina, I tenero, fino a I am here. Let's try that with that break in between, and with that, where I told you to breathe. I'll come back to you, anyway. Make the shirt tight. Make the shirt tight. 
Puccini, there's so much recitation on the same pitch where all the action actually happens in the orchestra and you're telling a great story. So there's just bend the pitch just ever so, just, just, it's just like a little grace note, just, a, just south of the pitch, not flat, like it's an intentional choice. Good. Are we on the Did I have the right pitch? Italian pop drop. Yeah, so that's, so that's what we got here. So, so on the page it says, I'm on me cruel chummies. Uh, back to this. It's okay. Oh, acapella, please. Acapella. But I would say, I'd say delay that F just like a tiny, just okay. a tiny fraction. Like, so it'd be like this. I'm on me cruel chummies. I can't And let's do this, this is, let's do this a lot slower. And slower? Uh, uh, not a lot slower, just a touch. Yes. What do you like slower? On, on, I'm more of a cool chip, please. I'm more of a cool chip. Yeah. I'm more of a cool chip. Sorry, the, the first one, the first one. I'm more of a cool chip. Ah, the first one. I'm so sorry, yeah. I'm more of a cool chip. I'm more of a cool chip. So that's where we're starting then. Let's start on that again. Uh, again, 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 again. Actually, he needs to hear the pitch. Look, look. Yeah, yes. you just play the pitch, just a D. Uh, 167. Oh, morning. Here's something. It's much slower, much slower, but you got much slower. Yes, thank you. And. Amor mi crucha, amor mi crucha, amor mi crucha, mi esta tormenta. Even higher, and 
pull and instead of the sound coming out like right there, shift it all over here. Oh, my dream. 
reason I picked handles because I love it, but also because there's so much that we can get technically from this aria. So Handel loves to do this thing, which is frustrating and difficult. He loved to write Fioritura on an a vowel in the lower middle, which is not a soprano's favorite place and vowel to be doing coloratura. But from this, like we can work on some really exciting stuff that I think will just focus mm -hmm. the sound. Okay. Um, okay. So much like what Clay was talking about, there is a modification that I like to think about. We want to sing pure vowels, but sometimes we have to think a vowel and make a different space. So the a vowel is a pretty elusive vowel, and all the other vowels live in the room that the a ah makes. So if your a ah is too back or too like unfocused, the other vowels have no place to live. There's, there's no continuity between them. So for a, ah, I like to think ha, huh, like h-u-h, ha, huh, with the t, and it's right up here, ha, huh, ha, huh, ha. Huh. So you're thinking an a, uh, an a, uh, like a u-h, yes. okay. not, not, um, not an a uh or an a, uh. and then all the other vowels live in that. So, can we go back to the first little section of runs um, as, so it's as you go, but we're not singing ah, and we're not singing ah, uh, we're singing ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, okay. And actually, let's start at the beginning, even on the ka, ka and trippet. Yes, it repeats the same. 
same thing over there. So um, uh, let's do from the mezzo forte, come and trip it yes. as you go. Oh 
where you can just hang those bells in that space. Then also with this piece, finding different colors and different ways to say the same change thing, yeah, to change it up, style. and think of what those things mean to you. I like thinking spooky for piano because it gives you a different color and it sounds piano, but when you have a bigger voice, there can be, like, your piano is not going to be a, a lighter singer's piano. So you have to go for color and that will that will kind of like okay. make it live in that world. Yes. Okay. So how can we make some of these phrases like more exciting? I think, okay. So the first one, let's say like the first phrase is like an invitation. Like okay. come and trip it as you go. From, okay. From the beginning. Uh, yeah, but we're just talking through um from the beginning. Yes, from the oh, beginning. Okay, sorry. okay, so the first one, we have like a nice mezzo forte. Come and trip it as you go. This is your time to like set it up, set it up in your body. Then we have another mezzo forte saying the same thing. So how can you make that different? Maybe that's like, uh, come on guys. Like I said, come and trip it as you go. So find a different way to energize okay. that phrase. So that it's a little bit and then you have a chance on these trippets, these piano trippets, to um, I would really use the consonants in your piano to like energize that. Okay. Trip it. Like, trip it. Okay. And, trip it. And I, I, yeah. I would suggest really do really do glottals on all on all the okay. the, yeah. the, the words beginning with all. Yeah. Uh, uh, trip, trip it. Trip yeah. it. I believe so. Lot, yeah. I believe so. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you you just imagine it's it's a. Uh, a deaf lady in the back of the uh, back of the theater. Okay. You really gotta like let these let her have it with these words. Trip it, trip yeah. it. Oh, so you can fantastic see. Fantastic toe, fantastic toe. Okay. Toe. Yeah. Fantastic toe. Make it come out. Yeah, it's not too much. Okay. Not in the okay. theater. Yeah. Not in the theater. Okay. This is not this is not an art song, right? Okay. Yeah. It's theoretically not. Yeah. You, what, what is? Do you know this is not a gotcha. It's all about dancing. Exactly. So you're okay. teaching. You're literally teaching about yes. this. I'm guessing. I'm asking. Yes. You're teaching yeah. So yeah. So this is this is lighthearted. This is all about text. This is and every single thing Sarah said. Absolutely. But then on top of that, because because you look like you could take a lot more <laughs> abuse for both of us. So <laughs> this time, all consonants, all consonants. Yeah. Okay. Everything. As though we're German. Yeah. And then and then on here, this the the tricky as as you go. Um, think more intense at the beginning. Quiet and intense. As you go, when the light fantastic too. So you're building up to that point, but, okay. but the beginning, not quiet as in less, quiet as in like as, as you go. Okay. Like build that intensity. Okay. On the crescendo. Okay, so let's try it. Oh, 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 oh,
take that time. So, so let's go from, okay, first of all, you did so many fabulous things in here. I thought that first page, like, really, really beautiful. And you'll get used to that feeling. I know right now it feels like you're, like, making faces and we, all, we have, like, the snarls, Darwin, snarls, you know. But, um, but those, those muscles, you know, they just, yeah. yeah, check in with the, huh, 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 huh. Okay. Um, but then, you know, like, don't, don't drive yourself crazy. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, so I thought that was really, really beautiful. Um, I could use a little bit more piano on, a little bit more. yeah, on okay. the pianos. Because again, we're just saying the same thing over and over again. Okay. So like, it has to be switched. Yeah, up a and bit. I think I agree. even just like finding, you're saying the same two words. You're saying the same two minutes, two words. <laughs> you're saying the same words, but have some subtext about what those words could be. They could be anything. They could be like, "Hey, friend over there, I said we're coming and tripping it." It could be like, um, "Like, yes, I love the way you're tripping it." Like. Have like write in little things in your score. Okay. You're saying the same thing, but you're saying different things with each. So let's just try that once. Let's just like come up with like some silly examples. Um, first page. First one is gonna be come and trip it. I'm gonna show you this dance, right? Okay. I mean, like you know, you're saying you're welcoming everyone to the dance. Um, the second one is. You're saying, this is a really fun dance. Come on, guys. Like, come and trip it as you go. Then they're here. You're like, I'm going to show you. I've got your attention. Trip it. Trip it. You know when you're like trying okay. to get someone's attention, okay. sometimes you speak like softer mm -hmm. to be like, do I have all of you with me? Okay? So like, trip it. Trip it. And then, come and trip it as you go. You've got them. You're excited. You're back to mezzo forte. And then... Your your ah, is like this building excitement, like ah, fantastic So that like that that forte is like it's it's um like exultant, like you've got them, like you're like yes, we're doing it. Okay, okay. so okay. let's just try that and like just last time and then just be as like. You know, acty as you feel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just that first. <laughs> Oh! 
Hi, I'm Carlos. You're doing an E minor? E minor. Okay. E minor. Yeah. Right? I've got a yeah. D, but. <laughs> Um, hi, I'm Carlos Gonzalez. I'm going to be singing Montamo Pio by Francesco Paolo Tosti. <laughs>
Yeah, I guess I am saying. I think I think every single breath is just anemic. It's just not. It's just not filling your big self up, my big self up when I breathe. Oh, and all of ourselves up, all of our entire self. Um, cordia, and uh, most of the times, whenever you have the, whenever you have a a, a, a tue, it's you're going to tue promesse, le tue promesse. So let's look at that. Let's look at those. It's a tue promesse. It's tough, right? Because you only get one note head for all the tuos and the suos and the eos and the mios. And you got to remember, but there's one rule for all that. It's the, the first vowel of those, of those two that's the most important. Again, you've got one note head. I mean, even, I mean, you just have the word eo on a whole, on a, on a, on a whole note. And you've got to think, it's not eo, it's eo, and then whatever the next word is. So, and on all those examples, I'm, I'm picking on him for le tue, le tue. Instead of, he's going to, let tu eb, I heard, let tu eb, blah, 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 let tu eb, uh, what, let tu pro, let, let tu eb, let tu eb, promesse. So, what I want to hear is, let tu eb, promesse, let it go. And, and nice and high, also, I'm noticing, I'm noticing, I think, closing the eyes, perfect, it's good, it's fine, but it's, it, don't, don't overdo it, don't overdo it, don't overdo it. Oh, it's okay, it's all right, it's all right, look, it's the first time for you. I can, just, I can just do the fraudulent thing right now. I just go, you know what? Just start it all over again, and they'll do it again. And like uh, half the problems is really, half the things from the first time to be like gone away. Yes, yeah, here we go. Recording. Sensitive, but uh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Intimate, intimate, exposed. Anymore, no. Huh? Anymore, encore, anymore, no. I'm oh, sorry, no. Oh. I'm sorry, no. Uh, anymore. I'm trying to think of the word. Risky. Risky. It's going to come to me in a minute. It's going to come to me in a minute. But what we, what we have to have there is not something overly sensitive. This is the first thing out of the bat you want to you want to make a statement. Mm -hmm. So instead of Ricardian Ricardian Okay, so just drop the jaw and go with it. It's not gonna be too loud. Okay. We need to hear it. It sounds just over it sounds overly timid the first version. First version. Okay. Just 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 three beats. Three beats.
You nailed it. I actually thought I rolled an R a year ago. Awesome! That's right, that's right, that's right. It's not a thing. No, 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 no. Some people can't, some people can't roll the R. But I know you can, so you set yourself up for some getting picked on. All right, anyway, let's, let's, let's stop beating this phrase. Okay. Falle la One, two. Falle la Falle. Falle. Yeah. Not falle. 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 Yeah. Good. 
Said that in order, unless you unless you can fit index finger, middle finger, I train you. I heard a lot of teeth. Your mouth is not nearly open enough in the passaggio or above. Do you like one thing? I'm not sure. I might go on sharp. I don't know. Yeah. Una catena. Una catena di lingua d'angelo. Yes, that was more in line, right? I think earlier on the first thing through, it was kind of like a nice cantabile, like mezzo piano. And then on that phrase, it kind of just leapt out out of context. And I got the feeling that time, no, it's all good, it's all good. I feel like now there's a, there's a continuity, there's like a gradualness of from, from soft to loud. Anyway, let's press on, let's press on. So how wide is your mouth gonna be here? Bigger than me. Show me. Uh, that's great, yeah, yeah. And now, just hurry, you're hurling your air out there. Oh, hurling. Oh. One two. One two.
Huh? Two seconds. Two seconds. Oh. This is a strophe song. Everything you did in the first, just do it in the second. <laughs> Bravo.
the show. Yeah. So I hope you get to do it. It's absolutely, your voice is made for this music. Um, and this aria is crazy. This is just the aria. Then there's like a four minute accompanied recit that comes before it, which is in and of itself a huge, it's, it's its own aria. So if you, do you sing the recit yet? Uh, before you read yes, 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 the part uh, of the line, right? No. Okay, start looking at that because that will will inform how you pace yourself throughout this aria. By the time you've finished the recit, you've already sung a really dramatic shena, and you're talking about things that are like gut wrenching, you know, being washed up on the beach, and like everything is terrible, and like why do the gods hate me? Mm -hmm. So. The name of the game for this aria is mm -hmm. pacing, and you're singing it in such a beautiful, healthy way. There are a couple things that mm -hmm. can help just make it a little easier. Mm -hmm. So you have all of these leaps, and many of them are on an E vowel. Mm. I would not think an E, I would think, I would sing an A ah and just think an E. Eh. So you want an A ah in your mouth, but the shadow of an E. Eh. So I would sing, um, because what's happening is your E eh is spreading a little wide and you're taking away some of that beautiful upper partial that, that your voice has. You're just making it harder to sing and already <laughs> really challenging. So let's see, where is the first one? Um, there's so many leaps in this. Um, um, okay, oh, here we go. Adio. Um, Greece, 
ignore the. Okay. okay, so let's see that change. Okay. Now we're gonna sing the same words again. 
Okay, so we have to find a way to 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 be different. Um, another thing. Okay, so. And this is the thing with Mozart, it's, and Handel, you know, we're, we're saying the same thing over and over again, but the, but the emotions are so real and so strong. I mean, of course, none of us have been princesses who are, you know, in love with our captors, but I think we've all been in a situation where we felt like we let down someone who we love, or, you know, we've, like, we've done something, we've followed our heart into something that, you know, maybe doesn't match with what we think is right or mm. what people would think. So I think all of those different things, if you can just think of different real life examples, really simple things, um, to kind of inform the different um, repeats of this same text. So um, so now we're gonna go back to Habe Jaimani. And the music almost sounds like, like if you're having a panic attack, like, mm. it kind of like, you know, mm. it's like in that like, yes, of kind course. of like... Uh, the situation is very dramatic for yeah. Ilya. Because now Ilya uh, try to um, uh, understand that she uh, become the only, uh, what is the opposite of winner? The loser, yeah. Yes, yes. yes. she's lost her, she's she lost her family and, yes. and her mother. Yeah. So, so she's kind of in this like, Spiral and the music, like if you know, like the the lead, um, like where you hear that, like that whirring, that twirling. So this is kind of that thing. I think I would go piano with this. And and again, um, yes, it says it right there. <laughs> it says piano. Okay, so piano. It's kind of an inward thing. Again, I like to think of spooky when I think of piano um, because you still want to give it energy, but you want to give it that quiet. Beautiful, beautiful piano. Um, but but think maybe a spookier, quieter color on that. It's like a within. It's like a oh my god, Habite Giovanni. Like I'm having this panic attack. Um, and then it's gonna escalate because you're gonna you're gonna go to to the A. So let's try that with just a different color. Like just play with it. Mm -hmm. See what see what kind of colors you can paint with this. Oh, with this from for the beginning. Uh, no, the no. second. The second. Um, the second, the second, the second play. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's one, one major. Uh, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Okay, fifty-seven. Um, maybe yes. leading into it. Um. Uh, Thank you. 
signor padrone, ora incomincio a capire il mistero e a veder schietto tutto il vostro progetto. A Londra è vero, voi ministro, mio corriero, Ambasciatrice, non sarà, non sarà, figaro il dice. Se vuol ballare, signor Contino, se vuol ballare, signor Contino, il chitarrino le suonerò, il chitarrino le suonerò. Thought. So keep. So I would write. I literally write the word. 
keep the intensity going and write the error there so that, so that for his butter up bum bum, it's not like you like lose anything. So it's bravo, signor padrone. All right, now I get it. Now I'm starting to understand exactly what's been going on here, thanks to my smart lover. Thanks to Susan. She's the one who tells him all this for him. Oh, yeah. So I'm not, I'm not a note to, not a expert, but it's Sarah's song. It's Sarah's song. Anyway, so, uh, so just, just speak. All right, comincio a capire il mistero. Just speak it. All right, comincio a capire il mistero. Yeah, put, like a little, put like a little cover on top of it. All right, comincio a capire il mistero. All right, comincio a capire il mistero. Very, very, you're almost doing it. You're doing it too well. Now, now, actually, just sort of keep your teeth together. You get like a little bit of, just get a little bit of. Ora incomincio a capire il mistero. Ora incomincio a capire il mistero. Good, okay, now put some tone to that and see what happens. So, bravo, is that the G? Uh, just that. Bravo, signor padrone. Ora incomincio a capire il mistero. Just a little flip on ora. Just ora, not ora. Ora incomincio. Just ora. Ora, ora incomincio a capire il mistero. E a veder schietto tutto il vostro progetto. Double T, double T, and schietto e tutto. Tutto, ok. E a veder schietto tutto il vostro progetto. Good. Now get this whole, get these, get these two phrases, what, one, two, get these three phrases all in that same sort of. Okay. I'm starting to figure this shit out. Oh, oh bravo. Is that it? Uh, I don't Da capo. Bravo, signor padrone. Ora incomincio a capire il mistero e a veder schietto tutto il vostro progetto. Allondra è vero. It's not that I do. Just, when I'm preparing a score, if there's a question, I put, I just write it. Just a, just a cue there. Just a, just a, just a clue in my mind. It's like there's a question mark at the end, but I'm going to put it at the beginning so that I'm formulating ahead of time. That I'm, I'm, ask, I'm asking a question. So I mean, you're, you're sort of, to London, is it? Okay, wait, hang on. Sending me to London as your minister, as your courier, while behind. So I got, I got all that. That was great. That was great. But let's do this. Let's 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 take it back a little bit from the from the anger and the and the and the snarl and the grit, and then come up just 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 for a minute. You're pondering this thing. How long did I have you as your minister, as your courier? Must you send us back home? Hell no! You know that. So, so it's it's and then it's doing the math and then it's so let's try to get those three things. But let's start with let's start the middle section. The question: How long did I have you? Alondra è vero, poi ministro, io corriero, e la Susana, se che t'ambasciatrice, non sarà, non sarà, Figaro il dice. Take a, take a pause after you 
You're doing everything in front and at the throat and the breath, everything's all the same. Now the, at the final element, we have like an open O in the back of our throat and we maintain that space. That's the house that we build and then we sing and we arrange the furniture to get all, get all the articulation to happen. But the house has got, the house can't constantly be collapsing and being rebuilt. So, and I'm singing here, I'm gesturing here, but I'm just because I've created a house back here for, for, to live in. That's got to be a lie. No! Okay, okay, okay. These, these five saparos, I would say the first three at least are, are going with what you've sung already. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Ma, piano, 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 piano. It's better if I don't come at him, uh, if come at a continuo. Uh, with a with some sort of bold plan, it's better for me to play dumb, right? Yeah. Then that, that's, that's what we're talking about, right? It's better that I play dumb so I can continue to get more information about exactly what his full plan is, right? All of his secrets, right? Every single only every single plan that you've got, I can discover. Okay, so with that in mind, let's do the last lane. Lane say yeah all. Before the first subrows. First subro. Subro. Sure, sure. Subro. Last one. Subro. 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 Thank you. 
Esiste il Unic Mozart, eh, ar, eh, ironia, sarcasmo. It's Mozart was terrible. Mozart was terrible. Terrible. Ma terrible non è. Mozart was the, the only man that was born with the kings. Kings said, too much not to Mozart, too much not. And Mozart ah. sing it, oh. Yeah. <laughs> All we need. Now he's singing. Yes. <laughs> Is it all right if I only do the first verse because it's sure. easy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to do the second one with the ending? Can we do the first one and then just go straight to me? Sure. That works. That works for me.
to perform. <laughs> but I need to see that you're having fun. And I know obviously we're in a master class and you've been sitting and it's really hot and all these things. But the character will make it easier to sing. Mm -hmm. The music does so much for you in this. And like the rhythm of the laughing is built in and vocally will do you a lot of favors. So first of all, in the beginning, we need to think long phrases. Yeah. That will really help. So right now, you know, I'm getting my camera key, I'm on VZ, so das verstehen, but it's a whole phrase. My camera key, I'm on VZ, so besser das verstehen. A man such as yourself should understand, but I'm not done yet. That, um, darum rate ich ja genau, was ich die Leute anzusehen. So, so that's the whole whole phrase. You should understand people better. You, but you, I, I would expect much more from you. And you know, when people are caught in a lie, almost always they go to like the offensive. So like, he's like, you look a lot like my maid. And she's like, <laughs> excuse me, sir, I would expect that someone of your rank would know better, but I guess not. Like, so it's like haughty, like you are, you are imitating your mistress, you are imitating the way you imagine the haughtiest, like most over the top rich person, like, you know, would, would behave. So I need to see like these long phrases, but inform them because you're, you've been caught in this lie and so you're gonna, I would expect more and furthermore, like, going to the end of the line before you can get a word in. So those long phrases. Um, so let's start with that. And then, um, okay, yeah. Then you demonstrate. Die Sprache, die ich führe, die Teile, die Tournure, these are fashion things. Um, oh yeah, die Hand, die Hand, it's a T, yeah, okay. Die Hand ist so, um, um, Die Hand ist doch wohl gar zu fein. Okay, so that's like gilding the lily. Doch uh, and, and gar. These are like extra words. Like it is really, truly, verily too fine. You're like adding fancy words. Okay, um, and then das Füßchen. It's not just a foot, it's a Füßchen. It's a little foot. It's like, it's so, you know. So, so you are just like, you are playing a role and you're overdoing it because you know that you've been caught in your lie. For the beginning? Yes.
to do header. Yeah. You can do the. You can. You can do the. Actually, the second time through, you rolled it a little more. So just say you have the license. My header, Marquis. My header. You can know that there's our sync. Um, it's gonna be. It's gonna be seemingly uh, uh, counterintuitive, but darum That's the one. That's a long vowel. Yeah. Uh, whereas the other was my head, Marquis. My ma. Easy. And even Yaganao was it. But this, because those are all nice and staccato, right? But this one, they'll, because they love their operetta, man. Yeah, and so, and so it's all about the words with them on this. Narum rate So just a long, a long beat, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Narum rate Yaganao was it. Okay, and then make sure at the top of the next page, the hand is doch wohl. A really close up. Yeah. So you get, it's, it's an open one followed by a close one, right? Wohl. Doch wohl. Doch wohl. I have the wrong note there then. Die Hand ist doch wohl. The vowel. Wohl. Yes. Okay. I had the wrong note. I had it as an open note. Oh, okay. The first doch is a, yeah. doch is very open. Doch, doch, doch wohl. wohl. Yeah. Doch and wohl. then, zierlich. Füßchen. Zierlich. So, T-S. Zierlich. Zierlich. And then the fermata. What is tu, tur? What word is that? Tournura? Yeah, it's like a bustle. But is it? Is it supposed it's to be? It's from French. Oh, so it's oh, so it's bar. Yeah. Okay, sorry. That, I had a question about that. Uh, top of the next page. Müssen Sie für wahr? So even though even though it's make the most of your beat one before you cut off. So the R the the R at the last second. Für wahr sehr komisch. And then the Verzeihung. That's all. Yeah. That's all. I'm not expecting it all to be magically fixed. Yeah. <laughs> just, just, just now that you made the note. Thank you, thank you. You can work it. All right, all right. So let's go back to the the same place. Yes, of course. Oh, yes. <laughs>
I tell you after. So 
I think the way to think of it is like you're just sending love. You're just love. And I want you to think of longer phrases. Um, Feel it. 
feel like feeding. So, so have this conversation. Like, say if you just sing it through, it's a lovely song and it sounds beautiful. But like, this is a really important moment in the character arc of these two people. So like, this has to be the moment that you believe that she loves him. Okay. So, um, and and that you believe that you see into their relationship because up until this point. It's like you see them at their wedding and they're happy, but then like everything else that happens is really <clears throat> traumatic. So if you don't have this moment of seeing them interact in a loving way, then you don't really care about these characters at the end. So like it's all on Serlina in this moment to make us, the audience, be like, oh, I'm so glad. Like I think these two kids are gonna be okay. I think actually, I think they're the only two characters in the opera who are gonna be okay. <laughs> like the rest of them are like kind of maybe damaged for life. But like these two, like they're they're gonna make it. And we and you want to make us believe, like, okay, like they got off the rock and start, but like they love each other and they're gonna make it. So like make us believe that. And I know it's difficult when like you're not acting with another character, but like just imagine someone that you love and like you're just trying everything that you can to make them smile. To make that, like, just the goal of this is to make them smile. Okay. 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 So let's go from um, a un certo balsamo. Balsamo. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Did I do it? 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 Did
but they really apply to everything. The difference between the different moods mm -hmm. of what you're singing, you have to find fun with those. Mm -hmm. So, especially like the story in the middle. This song is all about like swagger, confidence, like, you're like, oh, if you, if you love me, if you sigh for me, like, I'm sorry for you. Like, you know, like you're just like, oh, you poor thing. Then they're not getting it, right? So then you have to launch into the story. Like, all right, friend, like, clearly you're not understanding what I'm saying. So let me tell you a little story in words that will under, like, that will make sense to you. So the little purple rose that Sylvia chose today, tomorrow she's not gonna like it anymore. And then you're gonna like break it down for them in ways that like, I get it, that like you're not understanding me, but let me tell you. And then you're gonna come back with, say to mommy, so why? So why are you coming back? Clearly the story didn't work. So then you're like, all right, if you love me, if you sigh, I feel bad for you. Like all the, all the confidence, all the like, who cares? But like playing with them. Like, mm -hmm. so enjoy, enjoy the words, enjoy like the turns of phrases. Um, and let me hear some differences in color. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just let's let's do the first part and 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 see what see what you come up with. Yeah. Love you a little, but you're not doing it. Beautiful job. 